St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Deanna and Victor Andrew from Don Mills, Ontario. This Mass is offered in thanksgiving for the innumerable blessings they have received through the intercession of our Blessed Mother also for the welfare of all the viewers and for the living and deceased members of family and friends. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather here to celebrate God's love for us in this Eucharist. As we begin this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father of mercy, give your people help and strength from heaven. The birth of the Virgin Mary's son was the dawn of our salvation. May this celebration of her birthday bring us closer to lasting peace. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. you rose 
Jesus, the Son of Justice, Christ the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. An account of the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, Judah the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Aram, Aram the father of Amminadab, Amminadab, the father of Nashon, Nashon, the father of Salmon, Salmon, the father of Boaz by Rahab, Boaz, the father of Obed by Ruth, Obed, the father of Jesse, and Jesse, the father of King David. And David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah, Solomon, the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the father of Abiyah, Abiyah, the father of Asaph, Asaph, the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram, Joram, the father of Uzziah, Uzziah, the father of Jotham, Jotham, the father of Ahaz, Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah, the father of Manasseh, Manasseh, the father of Amos, Amos, the father of Josiah, and Josiah, the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Salatiel, Salatiel, the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, the father of Abiud, Abiud, the father of Eliakim, Eliakim, the father of Azor, Azor, the father of Zadok, Zadok, the father of Achim, Achim, the father of Eliud, Eliud, the father of Eleazar, Eleazar, the father of Matan, Matan, the father of Jacob, and Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 